Well, hello there, chums. Is I, Captain Stephen X, so in the NMSA hub, and yeah, I'm featuring a chaps base called Sea Spike. Now, where's the base marker for this one? It's not there. That's that's right over. That's Hurricanes. We did his last time. There's Sea Spike's base marker. Let's just go and have a quick look at that before I show you the base. So, NMSA, a mining outpost, mark free, airless idiom. Nice. Okay, well, going to these base markers is a great suggestion by Nirwana. It gives you a sense of what people are trying to achieve. So this is supposed to be a mining facility, and I must say, it looks like a mining rig right from the off. It's got the landing on top. It's got all these structures underneath. It makes sense. I'm loving the little addition of a ladder up here. And this sort of, like, touchpad with a teleporter on top is freaking genius. So I'd imagine when I step on that, that should go jump into life, and I can teleport if I wanted to. I'm liking this. This is such a compact, small base, but look at this. It's got all this sort of harvesters and everything going on here. I'm gonna, ah, this is awesome. I love it. It's such a compact, but functional and awesome looking base. And it, it just looks ace. Oh, look at that. All the lighting has just popped on. That is so cool. And yep, we're flying here. And here we go. We've got uh, batteries in here, a little table. We've got some movement from a teleporter. I wonder where that teleporter takes us. I can only see this one structure, so that's interesting. I'm going to have to leg it in there quickly while it's still got power. I'm liking the fact that all the exocrafts are here, but I'm intrigued to see where that teleport. Oh, it's going to just take you up a level, isn't it? It's going to take you up to where the ship is. Of course. Okay. Well, that is pretty damn sweet. Yeah, because there is no other means to get up onto the uh, landing platform otherwise. Very cool. I love it. Let's go stand on that little uh, touchpad. Let's see if it does anything. I don't think it will because there is no sunlight at the moment. But let's let's give it... Oh, I'm on a ladder. Let's uh, go stand on it and see what happens. Oh, it does work. That is freaking ace. Freaking ace, Sea Spike. So this is one of two bases by Sea Spike in the NMSA hub. Let's go see what it actually harvests. It should be idiom, shouldn't it, I believe. There we are. Idiom, and there's a shed load of it. I'm going to take that because I'm always running short on idiom and on emerald. Always run short of that stuff. I need to set up farms really on both of those areas. So there is another sea spike base somewhere out there in the verse. There it is over there. Let's go and add that into my um, directional navigations and we'll go grab my ship and we'll fly over to the other base. But I really like this. That is so cool. It is definitely a mining base. It so fits what it says on the tin. I love it. Right, okay, so let's fly it over. And I'll see you guys once I reach Sea Spike's other base, because it's off-planet. It might take me a little while to get there. Let's just see how long it's going to take, whether I need to cut this, or whether we can just fly there and chat some a little. Um, so let's fly around here. Yep, there we go. Well, it's not that far. It says one hour, but that's going to be cut down. Oh, lock on, damn it. There we go. And off we go. It'd be nice if, when you've got something locked in, you know, like how I did from my analysis visor, if it actually did say, when you held down the boosts, it just takes you to the thing that you locked onto, like an autopilot. I mean, it takes a little bit of doing, you know, locking it into your analysis visor. It would kind of make sense. Now, as you can see here, chums, there's quite a lot of base markers showing, but it's not the full repertoire of bases on here. It's like Beeblebum's base and um, Veritas's. They're both, they're, I can't see them at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit odd. It, it just seems to be rather selective in what I see day to day. What I would say is if you're in the NMSA and at your base, just give it another upload and hopefully it'll push yours to the top of the list. If I haven't already featured it, try that and then um, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to feature yours next time. Oh wow, look at this. This looks like a little boat or something. This is so cool. Let's uh, land. Let's just see if I'm right in one of my original impression was. Let's just jump out of the ship and uh, he's built a little galleon. He has. He's built a galleon here. Oh, sorry to assume you're a gender sea spike. I mean, you could be female, but I'm, I'm going. It is. It sounds quite sort of like a manly sort of name. So yeah, sorry to refer to you as a he, but there we are. Sorry to assume your gender. Uh, right. So let's uh, pop into camera mode and let's have a quick look. See, I think it's all rendered in. Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is what the bow. Yeah, this is the bow. And if we're over here, we've got the starboard side, which is the starboard, which is all over here. We've got the port, in a way, over on the starboard. So there we are. Oh, look what I've just spied underneath the freaking water. Well, we'll go look at that in a minute. We'll go look at that in a minute. Oh, my days. This is, this is phenomenal. I'm loving this. And look at the aft section. This is great. I'm liking this. Oh, it's even added, like, a little steering wheel. 
Oh, how, how awesome is that? That is so cool. So I could actually captain this ship. I could be Captain Steve of this lovely little Sea Spike Galleon. I'm loving it. I'm liking the flags at the top and the actual, um, the vaults actually look, fu well, they're functional, but they are so cool to have storage containers on a ship. Let's, let's go into the captain section. Let's go in the captain section. Let's go into here. Let's have a quick look in there. Oh, this is sublime, isn't it? We got like a little captain's mess. This is so cool. This is awesome. I've got a captain's desk. I've got an array of weapons to shoot my crewmates. Uh, yeah, I've got a double bed. Freaking ace. This is awesome. I might just call this home. Sea Spike, this is no longer your base. I'm nicking this. This is freaking excellent. <laughs> yeah, captain of my own ship. Lovely. Oh, there's a button here. What does that do? Okay, that just turned off the whole power to the boat. Oh, brilliant. We have light again. That is so cool. I'm loving this. This is so awesome. This is very, very awesome. Okay, so what we got over here. Now, this just looks like it might have been here for decoration, for decoration's sake. It's almost like a landing area. Oh, it's got like little viewing areas for them. That is so cool. And it, it just joins all the landing pads together. There's like a little landing area. Welcome to the Oceanic Access something. Let me, um, can I read that again? The access rift raft. Oh, okay. Welcome to the ocean access raft. So yeah, that kind of hints that this is just access to something far bigger. And I'm guessing this ladder is going to take us down to that far bigger section, uh, perhaps. But here we go. Look at that. We got a lo lovely little blob there with a seating area around it. This is this is immense, chums. This is so cool. Oh, and I'm out in the water, and we can actually see that the bottom half of the boat has got barnacles on. Oh, this is so cool. This is excellent. And, oh, wow. He's been busy. Sea Spike has been freaking busy. I mean, look at this. This is craziness. I'm following these cables at the moment, chums, down to these structures down here. I think they're just there for show, but that is so excellent. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. I'm just going to go in there so I don't drown. And I'll pop into camera mode and we'll just uh, whisk around all this top area quickly in camera mode, chums. Because to traverse this on foot might take me a day and a bit. Okay, how do I get in this dang thing? Oh, there we go. There's the hole there. That foxed me. Right, so there you go. So that's why I go into camera mode. Because, you know, if I, if I can get lost in a one-door freaking structure, imagine what's going to happen to me if I go into this rotor stack of mazes. Mazes. Okay, right, so there we've got quite a lot of different sort of areas to this base. I'm not going to go inside, I'm just going to look through the windows. So there's quite a lot of structure going on here, but there is quite a lot of farm by the looks of things over this side. So yeah, we've got a load of gravitino balls, a load of aluminium pearls, so these are quite the rarities, the rare items, and we've got a load of sack venom. This base is going to be freaking on point for the weekend missions, isn't it, Chambers? Because but more often than not, we're asked to cl collect the obscure. Well, this has the obscure in it. So all I might do is go and find the base marker in a second. And, um, yeah, we get the name of this base. So we can then, you know, pop back here whenever we need to. Right, so where is the base marker? Is it on the surface or is it underneath this water? Um, I mean, I locked onto it earlier when I flew here. But, yeah, I can't see the base marker now. Noana's. Scottish Rods, Sea Spikes Base, that's the off-planet one, that's the one that we came from. Oh, it's right freaking next to me. There it is, right there. Okay, so... No, Captain Steve, swim. Damn it, I need to get to the base marker. There we go. We're on it. Awesome, it's called Oceanic Experiments. There we go. So if you do want to jump to this base, and if you want to know where it is... There's the location in the bottom left corner. Let me uh, put that against something dark so you can see that a bit better. There we are. I think that, I think you can see that. Sort of. Actually, let's go for there. That's better. There we are. So that's eagle, eagle, dragonfly, and um, black hole. Sunset, rocket eclipse, and the waypoint. Black hole, beetle, whale, and diplo. Fantastic. Right. Let's um. Let's get out of the water. Right, so I'm, I'm, I'm really like this base, Chums, if, if that didn't come across to you at all. I, I'm liking the use of the barnacles underneath each of these uh, landing pads as well. Even the attention to detail under the water has still been a thing, you know? It's um, it's great. I love it. This this base is, is freaking awesome. Sea Spike, you have outdone yourself. Both of your bases, Chum, 
are freaking phenomenal and they fit the area that you built them beautifully mind blown sir mind blown there you go sea spike two epic bases <laughs> there you go that's what you get yep i will give you a little mini air grab as well so there you go there you go there's an air grab but yeah there you go i just shouted your name across the freaking nmsa hub so there we go that's sea spike spaces hope you enjoyed them um so yeah all of you out there hopefully see you again next time on my adventures and take care for now goodbye all goodbye goodbye and if you want to support the channel there's multiple ways to do so one of those ways is patreon there's a tier there for pretty much everyone and these lucky chappies are all getting ship models thanking you lucky chappies and here are all my other supporters on patreon thanking you chums thanking you and I have YouTube membership, and you can get sweet emojis to use in my live chats or a Christmas box, and there's other people getting a Christmas box. Hop on over and take a look at those tiers. And I also have merch. Go grab yourself a fine and dandy mug or a t-shirt or a pair of socks. Hit a like, a subscribe, or click in one of these links on this would also help my channel, or just don't skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Thank you for watching.